I knocked off an incumbent mayor, Tony. That ain't easy. The National Party has to take notice. Young and pretty as you are, I'm sure they got ideas. <laughs> All you have to do now is run the city. Tony, I gotta ask you something. Why you didn't run again after the first term? I mean, nobody had the, the name you had, the organization. Let me tell you a story, Tommy. The first day I became mayor, they sent me down at the desk. Big chair, dark wood, lots of beautiful things. I'm thinking, how much better can it get? There's a knock at the door in the corner of the room, and Pete comes walking in, carrying this gorgeous sea silver bowl, hand chased, this big. It's from the unions, he says. So I think it's a present, something to commemorate my first day as mayor. He walks over, puts it on the desk. I look down at it. It's disgusting. I say, what the hell is this? I said, what the hell does it look like? I said, it looks like shit. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do with it? He says, eat it. Eat it? He says, yeah. You're the mayor. You gotta eat it. So, okay. It was my first day. Pete knows more than I do. So I go at it. And just when I finish, there's a knock on the door. And in walks Pete carrying another silver bowl. And this one's from the blacks. This too? And he nods. I start eating. And when I'm finished, there's another knock and another bowl. This one's from the Polacks. Then after that, one from the ministers. And you know what, Tommy? That's what it is. You're sitting eating shit all day long, day after day, year after year. When I realized that, I decided, being a downtown lawyer and seeing my family every night, made for a fine life. Just a fine life. <laughs>